On this video, we want to talk about if the defendant is going to testify in the case or not. Another big decision that, that we always face is whether we're going to let the defendant testify, whether that's going to be a good idea or not. And um, you know, you're probably getting tired of hearing me saying this on the, on the videos, but it, it just depends on the on the particular facts. I mean, obviously, the the biggest benefit, um, if if you're the one who's being accused, if you're going to testify, then you you get to get up there, you get to explain your side of things, and you can explain what really happened, and and really speak up and and defend yourself. Now, the flip side to it, there's a lot of risk to it. And one thing we're going to look at is, is what's your criminal background? What does it look like? What can the prosecution use against you? And you've also got to remember that the prosecutors are very skilled at doing cross-exam, making you look guilty. They know all those little tricks, those ins and outs. And no matter how well prepared you are, you're not in court all the time. Um, I'm in court all the time. The prosecutors are in court even more than me. So you've got to factor in that risk of even if you're not guilty, this prosecutor is is trained at, at making you look guilty uh, with, with what they have. Now, in some cases, you know, maybe, maybe the defendant actually did it or there's just other bad things that could come out and the decisions made for us, we just can't let the defendant testify. And that's perfectly fine. I've won plenty of cases without the defendant testifying. And actually my kind of my general default is my client's not going to testify uh, unless I've got a good reason to. Um, but if it turns into a situation where it's, where it's one where you're going to be able to, and there's not a lot of risk and not a lot of exposure to it, then you're going to have that capability. And it, it's hard to set a just a, a hard bright line rule on whether it should happen or not. I think most lawyers kind of fall under the camp of we're not going to have the defendant testify unless we have a really good reason to do it. Because remember, I can win the case by pointing out what the prosecution did wrong. And that's, that's where we're, we're going at it what the prosecution did wrong, what the police did wrong. We, we just have to show they didn't meet their burden of proof. I don't have to build the case to prove that you're innocent. And so more often than not, we can do that without you testifying. But it's a, it's a big decision to make, and it's something that we'll visit about, visit about early on in the case to see if that's the route we're going to go or not.